Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Falls Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. It really is important that you do take whatever does resonate with you and you leave the rest of it aside. Now if you do have any questions, you would like to contact me maybe for a question or maybe for a reading, you have all the necessary information right below into the YouTube description box. So you do have my contact, you have the list of all my readings, so please do not hesitate. It will be my great pleasure to assist you, so please, no hesitation. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it is always greatly appreciated, and I do thank you so very much. So with no further ado, we're working here with Tarot today. What we want to know here is we have some warning messages from Spirit to you. So let's go and discover what they are. I'm going to turn the cards over and I'm going to explain to you what they are after because it's not quite all that clear. So we have here the mother. We're just going to turn these over. We have the king of water. We have some fire. Let's begin over here with the mother. Okay. So. Now. Another, uh, an aspect of this mother card here that I'm getting by spirit is maybe, usually we receive this type of message when there's evidence by those who are willing, maybe you're willing to give your all to everybody, maybe a little bit too much, not enough for yourself. Um, this is usually about people who are very consumed by a need to be needed. So this could be your case and feel that it's your place and it's your purpose in life to fix everything that's wrong, to make everyone happy. And this is often about an individual who gets involved because if they don't, the situation is simply not going to be resolved and it's leaving a situation unresolved is not really something that you might be able to tolerate. So this is a type of personality. This is a message that I'm getting out of this card right now. It's wanting to fix everything, wanting to help everybody. Um, but at some point, it's just too much. We can't do that. And it, it sometimes it goes over the boundaries. Sometimes we end up doing the reverse of what we actually want to do. So uh, this is about, you know, uh, people, maybe this is you, perpetually either cooking and cleaning, cleaning, mothering others, instead of allowing uh, other people to just be responsible for themselves and you just take care of yourself. You have all that weight upon your shoulders. So have you involved yourself in a situation that has really none of your concern because you want people around you to be happy? Do you have a tendency to offer unasked, uh, maybe for advice? Do you often act as a peacemaker or um, or somewhere into the middle ground here uh, to try and help somebody when it's you're not really asked? Do you live your life constantly doing for others what they are capable of doing? Uh, do you live through others maybe? So these are all questions. Ask yourself. You might not fit into every category. You might fit into one or to two of them. But this is about, you know, it's about giving up your time for a lot of people when you could be taking care of yourself and they could be able to take care of themselves also. So this is what I'm getting here is to really be careful. Okay, so the warning by spirit is to be careful not to put yourself into any type of situation that you should not be in necessarily. This is about allowing other people to uh, move on and to learn, but on their own. So moving on now to your following message. The following message that I have here is with the three of earth. Now the three of earth here is asking you to be sure of your motives as they are going to play a defining role in the outcome that is going to manifest for you. For instance, if your goal to be successful and powerful is based on a need to feel that you are higher standing than others, well, you're quite likely going to be knocked from your pedestal here. If your desire is to possess and to control, you may well be met with loss and chaos instead. You need to keep in mind that in all things, you are going to reap what you sow. And if you want instant gratification, you may find that you are met with some disappointment. And if you spend all of your time worrying and second-guessing yourself, you may find yourself making more mistakes. 
So the three of earth here is really cautioning you against becoming so focused on your goals that you forget to consider the emotional needs of those who are around you and give the appearance of being unsensitive, maybe selfish. So do not create distance between yourself and those that you love. Intimacy and connection are essential, especially if those that you love are the reason that you seek to better yourself for your future prospects. Moving on to your third warning here message, we have the um, six of water. So here we go with the um, here we go with the king of water. So when we're speaking here about the king of water, this is about having a. It's representing a feeling maybe of boredom. Maybe you need to ask yourself if you believe that your life is lacking in excitement. Do you have uh, that? Um, do you have that peace? Do you have that calm that is slowly transformed into something that has become a boring routine? Maybe it's time for you to shake things up a little bit and to ride the waves just for a little while. You might need a little bit of excitement and you might, you know, to be unpredictable, maybe even to be a little bit spontaneous. But it's really in your best interest, however, to seek a productive outlet, outlet for your excitement rather than looking for conflict or creating dramas um, that might destroy your peace and your calm, but just completely instead of enlivening your life. So this is really cautioning against behaviors that are born of jealousy and a need to possess. So if you have any fears or concerns regarding a relationship, you need to address them. Don't allow jealousy to fester. And if there is a reason for concern and the situation cannot be resolved, then perhaps it's just best to let go. Remember that the person in question, okay, might not... And remember, okay, wait, remember that the person in question here is not a possession is really what I want to say. And you need to allow them to believe. You need to allow them to breathe. If leaving is what they really must do, then that is what you must let them do. Okay, so this is really cautioning you against um, other people's own wheels. Also, what they want, what they need. Um on the other hand, you have to also be mindful not to allow your own insecurity and your imagination to drive a wedge between yourself and the one that you do love. So very important warning here not to, uh, not to forget. And we're going to conclude over here this reading with the five of fire. Now, the five of fire over here is symbolizing a need to address a belief, a belief that your idea might be unique and that nobody has ever thought or acted on a concept prior to you sometimes. Now, this is about remembering. It is the idea that is unique, but the matter in which the idea is expressed, okay, is different. Your perception is also unique. And if you're not simply copying another, then the form in which you express your creativity is also going to be unique. This is about not attacking another just because they have had the same idea or they've been influenced by the same or similar beliefs and goals. They have just as much right to express an idea as you do, even if it is similar to your own. There is room for everybody. Instead of worrying about what others are doing, you need to focus on creating something of quality for yourself, something that you see, something that you want with your own unique personal touch. But everybody is allowed to their own opinion, to their own goal. But this message here is for you to focus on your own goal and to move on forward. That being said, this does conclude this reading. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I do hope that it brought you some very interesting messages. If you do have any questions you would like to contact me, uh, please do so. My information is right below into the YouTube description box. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do click the subscribe button and have yourself a beautiful day. I thank you for being there and I will see you tomorrow with a new message. Many blessings to you.